Question six. Here are some shaded shapes on a square grid. So we've got shapes A, B, C, D, and E. It says, write the letters of the two shapes which are hexagons. Well, you should know that pentagons have five sides. Hexagons have six sides. So we're being asked for hexagons. So we're looking for all the shapes with six sides. Easiest thing to do is just to count the sides. And what I normally do is I go around each shape and I put a line on each side as I'm counting so I know which sides I've already counted. So shape A has got one, two, three, four sides. Shape B has got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. C has got one, two, three, four along the bottom there, and then five. Shape D has got one, two, three, four, five, six. Shape P has got one, two, three, four, five sides. Let's check the question again. Write the letters of the two shapes which are hexagons. Hexagons have six sides, and you can see that the two shapes with six sides are shape B and shape D. So B and D are what we need to put in there. Second part of the question says, write the letters of the two shapes which have right angles. Well, a little trick for you to do is that to check for right angles, get a piece of tracing paper, which I'm wiggling about here. Now, pieces of tracing paper, if they're rectangular shape, will have right angles in the corner. Now, some right angles will be obvious to see, but sometimes there will be a right angle which is being rotated, which might not be immediately obvious. So you can use your tracing paper to rotate it around each angle and check. So for example, this angle in the top corner here, if I rotate my tracing paper, you can see that it fits exactly into that corner there. So that one is a right angle. So shape C does have a right angle in that corner there. It's also got another right angle in this corner and another right angle in this corner here. So actually, shape C has lots of right angles. So that's definitely going to be one of my shapes. The question is, which one is the other one? Well, shape E... You see, has a right angle that might be easy to spot. It has a right angle in the corner there. Just to double check it, tilt your tracer paper, put it in the corner, see if it fits. If it fits exactly, it will be a right angle. So it is going to be shape E. If you're not sure about a right angle, use the tracing paper to check. So, for example, you may think that this angle down here in shape B is a right angle. Put your tracing paper on it. Line one of the edges of the tracing paper up with one of the sides of the shape. So you can see this edge of the tracing paper is lined up with this edge of the shape. But look, you can see that there is a bit of extra space in this angle here. So it's not quite a right angle. It's actually a bit bigger than a right angle. But that's how you can use the tracing paper to help you to check. So your two answers are shape C and shape E.